Hi, everybody. One with something's Ash. I'm joined by Price and Jazzy. Hello. Hello. We're playing some Gloomhaven, y'all. We're Ooh. playing Gloomhaven Digital. This is a digital version of the extremely popular board game. Uh, those of you that don't know, it's like the box for this board game IRL is is like one of the biggest boxes I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. It's huge. Mm -hmm. It's extremely popular. Um, in fact, I'll, I'll get to that in just a second. But I do want to say right at the very start of this thing, thank you to Asmodee and Gloomhaven for sponsoring this video. If you guys are interested in this, check it out via the link in the description below. We're going to get into a little bit, bit of the details of what's changed. This game has been out. This digital version of it has been out since last year. But just recently, just in September, they released the co-op update. So that's why we're all playing multiplayer now, Ooh. which is awesome. Um, and beyond that, they've released a bunch of other updates as well. Uh, Flaming Foul Studios is the developer behind this. They're a developer that has worked on games like, uh, they, they helped with the original Fable trilogy, actually. Um, oh, me. And they also worked on the game, The Movies. Do you remember The Movies, Bryce? Oh, I love The Movies. I yeah. love that game. I absolutely, I played that game so much. I, I wish they would make another one. That's awesome. Good to know. Yeah. Glad, glad they're making stuff. And this game's pretty fun. Neat. This game's great. So this game has gotten a lot of updates um, beyond the co-op update. Like I said, they recently also released the Guildmaster update, which adds sort of, it's what we're playing right now. It adds like this, this quest system and this progression system to the game. Um, there is a, a story campaign that they're working on, and that will happen once the game hits final release, because right now it's in early access. Ah. I've always um, wanted to play this game. Um, a friend of ours actually owns the uh, the board game, and he said it's like it's completely massive. And I've mm -hmm. always wanted to try this. It's huge. That board. So I learned some stats. I didn't realize that game was a Kickstarter, um, oh. and it's like one of the most successful. Um, it is, I think, the most successful board game Kickstarter of all time, and it's like ah. the third most successful <laughs> Kickstarter of all time. It raised like. Maybe it was either Gloomhaven or the the follow up Frosthaven that raised like fourteen million dollars. Wow, insane, that's awesome! Right? Mm -hmm. Anyway, so let's get into what we're doing here. Uh, this is our guild. You can have up to four mercenaries in your guild, and you can play this single player. Uh, we're playing it multiplayer. I'm having each each. Uh, I'm having Jazzy and Price each control an individual mercenary. Yeah. I'm controlling the Craig Hart up here. You can select up here to. Uh, to select which mercenary you want to play. If you go through the tutorial in the introductory missions, they give you the first six mercenaries. As you progress through this, this current build of the game, there is two additional mercenaries to unlock through the achievements. Um, I'm actually just gonna show that off real quick here. The trainer in the mercenaries tab, I believe. Yeah, mm. mercenaries. There is... Here we go. There's no I in Mercenary Guild. Strengthen, bless, heal, or ally, uh, or heal an ally for 40 times. You'll unlock wow. this little music note, which is the Soothslayer. It looks like a bard to me. Oh, neat. Soothslayer. Okay. And then there's another character to unlock if you infuse one of each element, which doesn't actually sound like that hard. It's an elementalist that you will unlock. Uh, Ooh, neat. Uh, okay. Anyway. <clears throat> so... Uh, Let's get into the game itself. This game, I, I feel like those of you that have maybe seen our videos of For the King, you might yeah. get a little bit of a sense of how this works. It's also got, it, it's very much an RPG system where we're gonna be taking on groups of enemies, but there's also a card system to it as well. Yeah. Um, so let's just pick, pick a thing here. We're gonna start with the first quest here. Clear out the undead crypt. Seems simple enough. Yeah. Seems simple enough. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll we'll take it slow on the first couple turns to really like yeah. explain how we're doing what we're doing. All right. So I suggest a quest, and I think you guys get the prompt to. Ah, okay. It. Cool. Oh, Accept. okay. Yeah. Cool. Look at that. Look at us go. Yeah. I like that. Oh, it's an encounter. Oh, on the way. Walking Ooh. through a wooded glade, you notice something buried in the undergrowth. Upon closer inspection, you see that is the body of an Enox face down on the ground, clearly long dead. Mushrooms begin mm. sprouting the clusters all over the decomposing body, and it is giving off a foul cinch. Looking for any of the value of the val or looking for anything of value in the corpse, you see that the majority of the Enox gears is far too rotten to be used. However, his boots look potentially salvageable. Leave the corpse. Take the boots. Take the boots. Ooh. I can't choose. I, I think. Okay. So do we want to take the boots? It's Ash's choice. 
You manage to slip the boots off the corpse, but they are rotten through and disintegrate in your hands. Intent on leaving, you s toss the sodden boots aside when you notice a small pouch tied inside the corpse's ankle. With great care, you open the pouch and find a few gold pieces <laughs> inside. Unable to bear the stench of the corpse any longer, you take the gold and hurry hurriedly leave the area. Cool. Sounds like something a schedule would do. Yes. Yeah. We've gained sick gold. We got foot bad. gold. We got foot gold. <laughs> do you guys ever put money in your shoes? <clears throat> No. no. That's gross. <laughs> As you get closer to the village of Bloodford, maybe don't name your village Bloodford, just going to say, uh, you, pass th uh, you pass through steadily more boggy terrain. The ground sucks at your every step and away from the path. Pools release foul-smelling bubbles, their stink turning your stomach. The rot is at its worst from the ruined structure to the south of the path. You grimly head towards it, not expecting to encounter... Not expecting this encounter to be pleasant. Ash, All after right. that description, I would say Bloodford is an appropriate name for the place. <laughs> Enter the dungeon. Dungeon. Oh, okay. Does everybody need to click? What's I up? think so. Okay. I had to click a couple times. I thought I was waiting for you. <laughs> mm. For something to happen. Uh. All right, here we go. Okay. Oh, gross. Yep. There we go. All right. They're big Must and they hit hard. Boy, are they slow. Oh, they also have a fondness for vomiting. Keep on your toes and hit them within range. You should be fine. Okay. Cool. Oh, cool. goodness. Oh, God. They okay. And there's also an elite. Bones? There's two Living Bones elite? There's two of them close to each other. I could... I could immobilize the, um, the living corpses and uh, do a little damage to both of them. I have I throwing knives, which I can target two people. So just to uh, to give some detail to people that maybe have never played Gloom Gloomhaven and maybe don't understand what they're seeing here. So we want to kill these enemies, right? Uh, yes. You can see at the very top, there's uh, all the portraits that look kind of like a, a turn timer, but it's all question marks up there, so we don't actually know who's going to go first. And the number next to each one of these cards here is our initiative, essentially. And you pick two cards per turn. So if I picked a low number card and a high number card, it always starts with the first card that I pick, so my initiative would be 13. But if I was to do that in reverse order, pick this one first, and then the low number, my initiative goes to the first card that I picked, so my initiative would be 77. Um, anyway, let's just- Try to think what I wanna do. I figured out what I'm, I'm gonna do. I'll just let y'all know. I'm going to make myself and Ash get plus one shield because you're standing next to me and I should also be able to do an area of effect stun on the two big corpse guys I should be able to do both of those on my turn alright well uh, I have two throwing knives that I can hit two targets with and then I think I'm going to do either a flanking strike or just movement if I'm able to do this I'll do that so and do we know how many rooms there are total Mm, I don't no. think we do. Okay. Uh, well, you know, if you zoom out all the way, you can see the amount of tiles. It looks, though, like, it looks like there's so one more room. Okay. It looks like there's one more room. Yeah. Um, they might have told us when we came in. So, you know what? No, that'll that'll burn as well. I'm trying to be better about not burning cards when I don't need to. Yeah. So. Yeah. The, 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 the card economy in this game is the toughest part about it, that, like, to learn, I think. Mm -hmm. But... I feel like it's. I feel like it's going to be a lot of fun, once like yeah. we yeah. really get it. You know it. what? I'll just have a high initiative, and that's fine. So and selection, and and I'll tell you all this. I have two cards that allow me to allow allies to recover discarded cards. Oh, neat! So let me know right. if there's a card that like. Oh, if I could get this card back, <clears throat> let me know because I could maybe. Right. But that's discarded, not burnt, right? I, I might have cards for both, but I think discarded for sure. Move one, move one, attack three. Move so two, Jazzy's up first. Two. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to attack two of them since I can have range. And I guess I'm going to just uh, go for both of these guys. Cool. So now this is so, the other part of this game for mm, people that don't nice. know. Crit. There's the two cards, and they each have two abilities, mm -hmm. an upper and a lower. Since Jasmine chose the upper ability on this card, she can now only choose the lower on the other yeah. card. So she and the other one's move. So this guy, okay, so if you hover over the skeleton, you can see he has a move two and attack two. 
One, two. So he's going to hit you, Ash, no matter what. These That's guys what? move one, attack three. So I'm just going to move backwards. And Jazzy, if you could end up near me. Yeah, I could definitely I, end up near you. I Here. can give okay. you one shield as well when I do my plus one shield okay. to everybody adjacent. So I'm just going to oh, move three I'm... and then skip my movement turn. Yeah. I just remember, Press, you're the tinkerer. You have a move that actually gives all adjacent <laughs> allies a plus one to their next attack as well. Oh, I, nice. I do, I do have that, I believe, yes. <laughs> Uh, yeah. So first, I'm going to do this. I'm going to shield uh, one, affect self, and all, all allies in adjacent tiles. So confirm awesome. that. Yep. And then now that means you have to use this net shooter up top, but that's going to exactly. burn your card. Uh, it's going to burn it? Why is it going to burn it? Is do you see the, the little flame symbol at the corner? That means oh, that that ability okay. will burn the card. That's fine. That, I'm okay with that. So I'm going to do it here, and we're going to hit both of those guys. Confirmed. I feel like this is a good use of that card. I'm okay with it. Yeah. Is. Wow, minus one on both. Well, that at least guy's one pinned. Died. And that guy's pinned. Uh, yeah. End turn. Oh, living bones. Oh, hmm. God. Oh, thank nice. God. Zero damage. Whoop, whoop. Hey, come on. I'll, I'll take so, the damage. That's fine. Yeah. I could, I guess, I guess to explain to people, I clicked that really quickly. I could have chosen to burn cards instead and not take the damage, but really your health's there for a reason. Take the damage first mm -hmm. and then burn cards that like, if you're going to die. Yeah. Uh, oh, wow. Those pretty, are some cool moves. Right? So yeah, this is the Craig heart. He's got a lot of health. He's got some cool AOE moves. A lot of his cards get burnt, and he doesn't have a great way to get the, the burnt cards back like the Sorceress does. Mm. So I'm actually thinking I'm not going to use the burn ability. I'm going to just do a regular attack on him instead. Okay. Um, I'm just I'm just seeing here if that's what I want to do. Uh... So if you use a dirt tornado, you will affect price. So it might be beneficial just to attack. Yeah, I'm just well, going to do a regular attack. Can you, what, what, what happens if you do the other one? Create two single side, single hex obstacles and yeah. empty hex. Oh, interesting. I, I'm going to actually do that. So I, I am going to like do that. Confirm. But here's the thing, y'all. So now there you might be thinking, like Jasmine said, you don't want to do the dirt, dirt tornado. It's going to, and it may look like I'm locked into doing the dirt tornado. No, because every card allows you to also instead just do a basic right. attack. Right. So that's what I'm going to do. Man, we're getting and bad rolls. I've, yeah, I've rolled a, a negative one there on my, what's it called? Attack roll or something like that. Mm -hmm. But that is beneficial to me because you see that my first move where I created the obstacles gave me this leaf thing. It infused an element to me. So I can use that leaf later on in my next spells. Ah. And okay. yeah, you can hover over people to see their numbers. You can see the enemies, like which ones they have. There's a number of ticks on them that show how many of these attack modifier ticks you have. Um, so hovering over characters, you can get a lot of information about them. Um, yeah. All right. Next cards. What are we doing? Mm, okay, so that sounds pretty good. What else can I use with my leaf here? Honestly, okay, if so you guys see. wanted to move away from me so that I'm only within melee range of this guy, I've got a cool move for that, but maybe maybe I'll I'll save that for the next room. Um, yeah, that's my thing. I'm trying to not use all my great stuff. So instead, I'm just going to go for some basic attack stuff. That doesn't burn. Good. Try not to burn all my cards in the first room. <laughs> um, I know, right? And then if I need to move or if I need to do something else, what sounds good? So I uh, just so we all know, I'm going to try and Toxic Bolt the uh living corpse guy and i hopefully okay. i can take him out so just i guess know that that's what i'm gonna try and do okay all right so i chosen a low initiative card but i'm gonna do this other one it's called singled out uh it's a attack plus three oh, but it adds two more attack if an enemy is adjacent to another target or to any of our allies 
So hopefully, oh. hopefully my um, initiative helps. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna do it Price this you way. Ready up? Yeah, sorry, I, it was it was taking me a second to figure out yeah, how I was gonna actually <laughs> make yeah, that yeah. work. Mm -hmm. All right, so now we can see the turn order here. Price is up first, and you know what? I, this is a good opportunity to point out. People out there that are watching this, if you know Gloomhaven, if you're diehard about it, if you're like digging how it's looking in the digital version, or if like you have concerns about how this is looking, um, check out the the Discord. The developers have a Discord where they have been uh, taking player feedback and genuinely implementing that into the game. Uh, there'll be there'll be a link for their Discord down in our description as well, next to the link where you can check out this game. Actually, I think I can... Okay, range three. I thought I was hovering and it was showing. It was actually showing the range mm. I can move. I'm going to stay here. I think I should be able to hit him from here. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay, cool. And yeah, we'll hit this guy. Confirmed. <laughs> nice. You got a plus one on that one. Nice. Okay. Wrecked. So I think I'm going to move behind this dude. Okay. So I don't think. Um... Yeah, if if you if oh, you yeah. Get, oh, oh yeah, you can do oh, no, from there. No, that's fine. Yeah. Nice. Oh, well done. And then I'm gonna move. Can you right move there. into the gold? So, yeah, yep. move into the gold. Oh, what was that? I oh, have you know, you're, you're are you ending your turn there, or was that a trap? Oh, I think my shield pop. Oh, oh your okay, shield gotcha, pop. gotcha. Um, All right. Um, there's some more gold behind the rocks, Ash. There oh, is. you could I... you could move near it and hit loot, because you have loot. You... Yeah, you have uh, move three. Oh, and then loot. I do. Mm. Well, you'd have to move two. Well, uh, no, well, actually, I, mean, I, I, you can't I can't move. use the I can't use the yeah. bottom on both. So move counts. Yeah. Move counts as as bottom. Yeah. I have boots. I don't know if I want to waste the boots on this room though. Mm-hmm. Um. The I assume we only at well. That important. We've got maybe two rooms left. We've got like probably four, four or five guys left to take out. Yeah. yeah. So I'm just gonna start moving towards the door, honestly. Yeah, I that's a good idea. To the door, the gold's not that important. Um, what do you mean yeah. gold's not important? <laughs> and then. What do you mean it's not important? Skip and then go for it. Uh, I'm gonna take a long rest. You should probably try and move up on us, but. I was gonna. I, I'd probably take a long rest as well. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. You know what? Well, yeah, if we're all gonna long rest, then we should all long rest simultaneously. Yeah, let's get our cards back. Okay. Well. Okay. All right. Okay. We still have to get rid of a card, though, don't we? No, that's only with short rest. Oh, I thought we still had to like discard one. Okay. Oh no, you're no, right. Yeah, we do. Maybe yeah. we we do have to discard a discarded one. Or we no, um, we have to burn one of our discarded cards. That's what it is. Yep. So I'm gonna Why do is it sh turn. It's showing me yours and Craghart's turn is what I'm oh, saying. It, oh, I think it's uh, his turn. Now it's my there turn. Oh, so we see this hat. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's really good. Um. So for those out there that are confused about long rest and short rest, uh, long rest actually restored some health and uh, I think it, oh, you know what it does? It restores any potions and stuff like that that you may have used throughout. Mm -hmm. So honestly, if I had chosen, damn, I didn't think about that. If I had chosen to go to that gold and my turn and then long rested, my boots would have come back. Um, mm. Anyway, live and learn. Um, and then the, it re you have to burn one of your discard cards, but then all of those other discard cards return to your hand. Yeah, burn um, cards are gone for the rest of the uh, dungeon, basically, whereas discarded ones you can potentially bring back like we just did with our rest. Whereas short rest just lets you bring back the discard cards. It doesn't give you those other benefits. Um, but the short right, so rest also allows you to continue the rest of your turn. I think so. Ash should try and go faster than the rest of us to get yeah. in there first. Because you're more tanky than us, right? I am. Okay. So I'm going to go in there and then I'll maybe use the crater move because it has some range on it. So let me know so, what kind of numbers you're dealing with. It's probably, hold on, let me see if I have anything else with yeah. range. 
And I guess this is, this is a good way to point out to people, because I don't know if we talked about this yet, the way that uh, initiative works. Um, mm -hmm. we, we are picking our cards in order, and the first card that we pick, that number there, is going to be our initiative number. And so, mm -hmm. uh, you know, if you're looking at my screen, I don't know, uh, uh, my restorative mist has a 17. Or, but whatever someone's at the top of their list is, that's going to be uh, going to give you a higher initiative. You're going to start in a higher order. Right now, I'm waiting to see what Ash's is going to be so I can go after him. I want to make sure I, I go after Ash. Mine's going to be 61 if you can go higher than that. Okay. Um, 61. Yeah, I can do that. Let's do oh, wait. Uh, Ink Bomb. And then my oh, I'm I'm be... I'm gonna be first no matter what. All my cards have high initiative. Gotcha. Okay. Well, you can be first through the door then. So. Okay. I will do. We'll do this one. Okay. All right. So All I want right, to move. Jazzy. I don't know if Jazzy's gonna make it to the door. I don't think I want to make it to the door either. Yeah. No, that's fine. Or you might get like right to it. I don't know. Yeah. And then um. Don't poison and me. Then don't don't burn. <laughs> Just hit the little attack symbol and then skip oh, attack. Oh, skip action. There you go. And then um, I'm going to go invisible. Nice. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah, that's a great one. Oh, you, you did choose to go invisible. Okay. Yeah. yeah so I my remember... next attack will do double now. Yeah, I remember that from the tutorial. That's really cool. Okay. So I'm going to move. Mm -mm. I'm just now thinking, actually. Which one do you want to move? Uh, that that one will burn, though. Um, yeah. So I'll just go through. Confirm. Oh, wow! Oh, hi. Run right there this, and then do your tornado. <laughs> the smell is worse in here. Even more than... There's even more of them. Okay. Crater. So... Oh. So these, all, these guys all move one, so you might be good blocking the door and moving back. <laughs> I might, I might move into it and just tank them. Um, yeah. Really? Because you're going to... This guy also does a uh, double attack. The, the, the bone dude. I think you might die. You think? I'm going to move in. Your crater I'm... has one has a range on it. It's true. Two, and then... I think you should move back one and I'll then push attack. Him. What's that obstacle? Ooh, I'm look at that. To... Ooh. I'm going to go for that guy. Actually, I'll go for the guy in the back. Um, can I not target him? Uh, okay. Oh, never mind. All right. Just nice. Had to do it, um, on my next move, though, I'm going to select the ability that let me... Um, mm -hmm. I have an ability that essentially every time someone hits me or tries to hit me, they take damage. Um, oh, interesting. And it does that Ooh. for the next six attacks. Nice. So. Oh, oh, Ash is in trouble. Ash. You can burn shit. <laughs> Excuse burn my shit. language. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse my language. Um, I'm sorry. This is a sponsored video. You can burn stuff. So I'm going to burn that boy, probably. That boy. Oof. Oh, you got Oh, moved. he pushed me, though. Dang. That's not, that's not that's, bad, that's necessarily. Good. That's, that's pretty good. Because they got to move up on you. Did they just... Are they poisoned? Maybe? Some, something happened, yeah. All right, Paris. Uh, okay. How... How does, like, cover work in terms of, like, where I could see them from? I have no clue. Okay, because so, I could move all the way in there. I'd rather not. Uh, could you go to the you doorway, hold, maybe? Yeah, if I you hold the tab, doorway. you can see some more information like that. Um... But I don't necessarily think that there's. I'd like to, yeah, I'd like to know my my sight lines. I could go to the doorway, Jazz. If you're not going to stand in the doorway. No, I won't stand in the doorway. Okay, I'm going to go to there. Yeah. I'm going to. And then you're going to ink bomb them. Yes. So I'm going to take out, yeah, oh, the three. Oh my god. These three in the back, do you think? Yeah. Uh, maybe the actually three the three hit. in the front. One, That's two, the, three. Oh, no, I yeah. can't. I can't do that area. I can only do like a triangle. Yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna take out the three. That's fine. Confirm. Kerplow. Oh, well so good. Two okay, out. I'll come in. Two out. I'll throw some daggers at these two guys. Nice. Uh, so I'm gonna do. Where is that? Here you go. Throwing knives. I'll do throwing knives. Yeah. 
And then, hmm. um... Kino... So that's the one I, I, knew, I want. Guess. And so... Attack and immobilize might also be good. Yeah, I think that's probably where I'm going to go. Or I could heal. I'm going to do a heal on my turn, just so y'all know. And it's going to do... I'll do three to everybody near me. Really? Yeah. I'm going to I'm gonna select heal anyway, um, just because it would probably be good for what I'm trying to do. Are you going to be able to also attack? Because I'm not doing any attacks, but if, we, if you're not attacking, Honestly, then I should at least do something. What I'm trying to do won't get lined up for the next turn anyway. I think we can kill them all this turn anyway if we want to. So, okay. um, I'm going to go for... I'll attack instead. I'll go for this upper move here. And then that means I need to move myself into a better position. Okay. I'm going to throw... Um, do some throwing knives on one of these guys. Yeah, okay. Second him twice. And and then cool. I think I might actually do a... I'm doing a, a, a multi-shot as well. So I should be doing two damage to two targets as well, Jazzy. So between you and I, we can take out mm -hmm. either the Skelly Boy and the um, one of the zombies or, um, yeah. or both zombies. Okay, cool. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think I can attack the other one. Actually, okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm thinking of one more thing here. Um, Price, what's your initiative going to be? 34. I could go 72. No, 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 no. It's fine. Um, I could go as cl as high as 17. I can go as low as 76. Okay. Let's go for... Honestly, I'll just go for... Yeah, let's go for that. And that. And might as well have high initiative. Okay, end selection. Oof. Well, maybe you'll kill that guy first. Yeah, maybe. Okay. So. Oh no, please don't hurt me. <laughs> I'm not going to. I think I'm just going to use the regular move ability. Mm -hmm. You going to try to get in the middle of these guys? I'm going to get in the middle of these guys. Like yeah, right yeah. There. Oh, nice. Yeah, there you go. Love it. Oh, and we've got it. And skip movement. Confirm. Oh, oh, dang. That's okay. That's okay. That's totally okay. We got him, man. I mean, mm -hmm. Skelly Boy's going to hurt you. Or me. No. Or you. Oh. Hey, oh, negative bad. one. Nice. Not I'll bad. That. Whoa. Whoa. Oh. You think you can just, you can just attack? No! Well, it healed itself again. Okay, um... Well then. I'm in range of that guy, so I don't want to mess with that, because you I, I yeah, have yeah. to take my worsts. Uh, so we're going to do that. Nice! Yeah. And then you do loot too. Again. Yep. Boop. There you go. Oh, well done. Figured I didn't need to move, so. Yeah. All right. I need to get in somehow. You can walk through press. I can walk. I mean, through I press? did. Okay. I, yeah, I did a loot, so you don't have to do that. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> all right. Um. All right. So let's. Go here. Confirm. And then we're and you should have double guy. damage. Yeah, yep. you should just be able to Nice! Have yeah! Ooh. Kill all enemies in all rooms. We did it! Nice! We did it. The last of the undead falls to the floor, and the curse of this place is lifted. Nice! Nice! All right. Very and cool. you can see, so oh. now that we're sort of progressing in the normal uh, quest... Uh, mm -hmm. guild, guild master thing. We can see all of these achievements that I talked about earlier progressing. Cool. And once some of these achievements are done, we'll unlock different things. Cool. That's really cool. All right. Exit, Exit. dungeon. Claim Very rewards. Neat. Awesome. Oh, I really like this. All right. So the merchant, he wants to steal our money. Um, 
So it seems like, if I'm reading this right, the merchant wants us to get other trade routes, and I, that makes me wonder if the town blood ford that we just connected there, if that is a trade route, and if now the merchant now has other wares. Or oh, something. maybe. Oh. oh, and hey, I leveled up as the tinkerer. I leveled up. What nice. Did, I get? did you? Stamina booster. Yeah, uh, you should have a perk point now, or something like see. that. Let's see. When ally within range may recover one of their burned cards. Oh. Ooh. And then, yes, plus one abilities cards available. Uh, wait, disorienting flash. Ooh, okay. Okay, so I got two cards. Oh, I can pick one? Is that what I do? Uh, what's this other one do? Stun. Range three, target two. Target all adjacent enemies. Muddle them. What is muddling? Oh, you're actually able to pick a new card? I think I'm going to take the stamina booster one. That was the one that I said about the uh, an ally yeah. can recover a burned card. I feel like that's really good. And now you have one mm -hmm. perk point as well. You're able yeah. to swap it. Yeah. Okay, cool. So let's see. Let's look at the perk. So I can add one plus three burst. I could add a couple of plus ones. I could reduce my minus twos and add a plus zero. Ooh, I like that. Just, just some consistency there. I'm going to mm -hmm. get rid of two minus ones. That sounds good. Honestly, that sounds yeah. really good. Just, mm -hmm. so, just more consistently, yeah. For those cool. curious, it's basically what what is happening is every time Price attacks, there's another roll that happens where yeah. he rolls to find out which attack modifier he's going to have, and you can see how many different attack modifiers he has here represented with these dots. So you can, as you level up, add more attack modifiers and potentially do more damage. Um, you can really think cool. of it. You can really think of it as like this is a dice that has these numbers on it, and the little like pips represent how many of those are on that dice. Mm -hmm. um, and so you're you're just trying to give yourself the best die. You just want the, the yeah. highest multiplier. I love and that. That's so neat. And if I'm understanding the trade route thing that the merchant just said, it seems like because we finished Bloodford there, it's connected there on the map now. It looks like I saw a little exclamation mark on stun powder that seemed to be new in the inventory. It wasn't there before mm. for me, so maybe that is what's happening. It's adding more items as we're connecting more of these. Oh, towns. it! I did see something about like we got a special stun powder thing. Uh, and, let's see, where would it be? And maybe under? that's maybe that's just more because <clears throat> we're leveling up, or we've done an mm -hmm. achievement, or something mm -hmm. like that. But mm -hmm. who knows? Um, yeah, we could purchase stun powder from the merchant right now. Exactly. Oh, that's what you're saying. Okay, cool. So, um, yeah, that's probably where we're going to end this first episode of Gloomhaven. We are going to have another episode coming out soon, but I'm having a lot of fun with this game. Um, and from what I understand uh, from people that do play the tabletop version of Gloomhaven, that the way that this game's mechanics work, the way that it feels as you're playing, is very true to the tabletop version. Um, oh, neat. So uh, I do know that they did work very closely with the the original creator, Isaac, Isaac Childress, I think is how you pronounce his name, who created the original tabletop version. Um, mm. They're still working in conjunction with him. So uh, I think there's that's very cool that they've got the original creator involved. So if you guys are out there or interested in it, be sure to check it out via the link in the description below. And let us know if you guys want to see us play more of it. With that, we've been stumped. I've been Ash, joined by Jazzy and Price. We'll catch you all next time. Bye. Bye.